Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have learned about connecting PHP and MySQL, right? And this lesson we are going to learn about computer networks, okay? Networking means we all know, we, we all know about computer also. In this chapter we are going to connect so many computers using network, right? A set of computers connected together for the purpose of sharing information or the sharing of data we will say it as a computer network right at present internet plays a major role right since you are having internet only you are able to watch this class even right so internet plays a major role in this present scenario some of the shared resources are file server, web camera, speakers, printer, scanner, fax machine and these are all the shared resources, right? Accessing services like uh, www that is world wide web, you all know, right? World wide web is www, digital audio, digital video which we share or which we use applications or software for the storage servers, right? Computer network, this is a technique of digital telecommunication network right that means one that permits nodes to share its resources that means if you are having a computer and you have some data there if your computer is connected with another one person's computer you can share this data here we'll say the data as resources that means whatever information or the data or the content you are having you can share it with another computer when that both the computers are connected through network right this computer network exchange the data with each other through wired and sometimes with wireless connection also right uh, between the different terminals we'll say this as nodes okay the data from these wires is transferred over the cable media such as fiber optic cable and sometimes uh, wi-fi also is there Sometimes wireless mean this wireless media also we can share the data, right? A computer which is connected to a network, we'll say it as a node, right? A computer, if, if it is connected with a network, we'll say it as a node, right? The data originates and terminates at these particular nodes only. That means if many nodes will be there in each node, Either we'll get the data from there or we'll send data to that node, right? So the data originates and terminates at these nodes only, okay? So if a data is sent from a node, we'll say that node as a source. If a data is sent to that node, we'll say it as a destination, right? Source and destination means we all know. From if you are uh, getting ready to school from home means that is the source and you are reaching where to school so school is the destination likewise if a data is transferred from a computer to b computer means a is the source and b is the destination right in this networking nodes can be identified by the ip address right ip address means nothing it is just an address okay network will have an address that network address is the ip address okay this can include the Host also. Host means sometimes it may be a mobile phone or tab or a computer or may I may have a huge networking device or it may have a big server or something. Okay. Then this connects more than one devices. Uh, we'll say it as a network, right? Wherever more than one device is connected, we'll say it as a network. Okay. Now we are going to see the history of computer network and the internet, right? In your book, in page number 134, they have given, do you know, like that they have given um, about two persons. When you get time, just read it out, okay? Let's see history of computer networking and the internet, okay? First, in late 1950, SAGE, that is semi-automatic ground environment. This is used by US military radar system, okay? This, this system is used where us military radar system here only this sage that is semi-automatic ground environment here this is used right and the next one is sabre that is semi-automatic business research environment in the year of 1960 
at commercial airline reservation system online this connected with two mainframe computers right this semi automatic business research environment s a b r e at the commercial airline reservation system online this connected with two mainframe computers right in the same year we had another one method packet switching packet switching is developed by paul baron and donald devices okay this packet switching was developed by paul baron and donald devices this is used to transfer the information between the network and computers right npl that is national physical laboratory this network at united kingdom lan lan means he studied last year itself local area network in this network using a line speed of 768 kilobit per second was implemented by davis pioneered right davis pioneered and this npl this network at united kingdom local area network using a line speed of 768 kbit per second was implemented by davis pioneered okay and next one in 1963 intergalactic computer network was sent by j c r licklider to his office colleagues discussing about this concept a computer network encased to access the communication with the users of computer right in your book they have given us j c r l i c k l i d e r that is actually j c r and then again a space or dot will come that is the initial i think and then the name is l i c k l i d e r they have given without space right when you are reading this concept just check it and mark it in your book in page number 134 the third method that is in 1963 intergalactic computer network was sent by and that name is j c r licklider that is j c r then space will be there okay this intergalactic computer network was sent by this person to his office colleagues right for discussing about the concept when they are discussing about this concept a computer network was encased to access the communication with the users of those computers right and the next method is telephone switch in 1965 at first this is used uh, or introduced by western electric okay western electric this is implemented true computer control okay at first widely used telephone switch this one was introduced by western electric and this is implemented true computer control okay and let's see the next method next one only we all know wide area network that is wan right in the year 1966 an experimental paper on this uh, wide area network was established by or this is published by two persons thomas marrell and lawrence g roberts okay this man this lawrence roberts image and the details about him was only given here in page number 134 in this do you know section right you just read it out and let's see the next method that is hierarchical routing after 1970s internet today right that is arpanet arpanet that is in the year of 1969 to 1970 actually it was first in 1969 four nodes of this arpanet was connected between four universities right um, the universities of california at los angeles at sandra barbara the stanford research institute and the university of utah using the 50 kilobit per second circuits okay using this circuit four universities were connected this uh, arpanet okay the four universities name they are given they have given here california university of california which is located at los angeles at santa barbara the stanford research institute and the university of utah okay so this four universities are connected you the four nodes of this arpanet okay packet switched network was a 
theoretical work to model which was performed by Leonard Klingrock. Okay, Klingrock. Leonard Klingrock. This person only performed the theoretical work. That means well, if you are doing a project first, you will have a theory work. First, the details about the project must be written and everything must be presented theoretically. This theoretical work of this packet switched networks was done by Leonard Clean rock. Okay. After this only, this alpha net was developed. Okay. After the theoretical work of that packet switch networks only, this alpha net was underpinned the development. That means after this only, this alpha net development was taken place and his theoretical work on this hierarchical routing in this later 1970s with his student Farooq Kamon. Farooq Kamon, that is he, the student of this Leonard Klenrock, okay, remains critical to the operation of this internet today. Okay, and the next method is TCP bar IP, we all know TCP bar IP means transmission control protocol or internet protocol, right? Here, this method is X25, okay, in the year 1972, this X25 was used as a com commercial service were deployed okay then using an infrastructure of for expanding this tcp bar ip networks only we, and then only we got the internet facilities and all right next method is host okay host in the year 1973 a french network named cyclades cyclades was the first for making the host okay and this is responsible for a reliable delivery of data and then later it became centralized services for networks by itself right next one is ethernet in the year 1973 to 1979 a memo at Xerox park was written by robert metcalf okay describing about this ethernet in the year 1973 in an aloha based networking system okay this was developed in 1960s itself by norman abramson okay norman abramson and his colleagues at the university of hawaii okay at in july 1976 a paper was published the paper's title was Ethernet Distributed Packet Switching for Local Computer Networks by whom already I have said the name Robert Metcalf and David Box. Okay, along with David Box, this Robert Metcalf uh, introduced the or published the paper Ethernet Distributed Packet Switching for Local Computer Networks. Okay, then collaborated on many patents received in 1977 and 1978 this robert metcalf pursued making an open standard in the year 1979 okay and the next method is arcnet a r c n e t this arcnet is introduced in 1976 okay this arcnet was introduced by john murphy of data point corporation in which the token passing network was first used right this uh, the token passing network uh, was used to share the storage device okay in the year of 1976 this arc net was created by john murphy of, of data point corporation where this token passing network was used first this token passing network was used for sharing the storage devices right next method is New fiber optic cables. New fiber optic cables in the year 1995, the speed capacity of transmission for Ethernet was slightly elevated, right? The speed was slightly increased from 10 Mbits per second to 100 Mbits per second, okay? After this, Ethernet supported the transmission speed capacity towards gigabytes, okay? Frequently, highest speeds up to 100 gigabytes per second were up and down. Still in this 2016, okay, Ethernet has the ability to grow easily. That means um, such a quick compatibility to support new fiber optic cable speed, okay? Fiber optic cables means now you all would have heard. Uh, in this uh, normal BSNL broadband, if you are having in your home, they have they are changing it as fiber optics. So this fiber optic cable will 
speed up the connection or if you are having this fiber optic cable the net speed will be so high than the old versions right uh, they have given a block also here evolution of internet just see this okay internet the word internet stands for international network okay international network means this includes the technology tel telecom and intelligence too right internet is a network of networks that means it is a global network it is it this internet is connecting people all over the world right if you are here and if someone is in other country or someone is far away in thousand miles away means also they can talk to you as if you are sitting next to them right now video calls audio calls everything is available for us through this internet only right so this internet plays a major role in this present scenario right this provides all the information and services to us earlier and all if you see if you want anything you have to go to the market and you have to purchase it anything and maybe food or clothes or anything nowadays you can just sit in home and you can see online and you can purchase it right for uh, online purchasing we have so many uh, service providers there online service providers like what all the online uh, shoppings you know flipkart amazon mintra snapdeal and so many are there right so to buy products online also this internet only helps us right so you just have to order and we can make payment also we can just send or receive money also through this internet and they'll be bringing the product at your doorstep itself right and e governance has made our work easy by providing all the government informations online that means uh, previously and all if we are using uh, cards for everything if you want to want some government official cards means you have to go and apply and you have to wait there or you have to go and meet in another day and you can get it but now this e governance also have become online that means you can just apply uh, by filling a form or giving your details there and they'll be providing the e card so that that services are also there for 24/7 that means for 24 hours they are working so at what time also no problem uh, you can just apply through online and you can get it right merchandising via internet helps as to get the good brand products at a lower uh, rates right some services are there for free shipping services are also there that means they won't get the amount for the delivery they'll just get the amount for the um, product and they will deliver it our doorsteps for free right powerful search engines are also there whatever you want if you want to take a text or if you want a audio video or if you want to know something if you want a book whatever you need if you want to know about the current affairs you can just go to google and you can type there and you can just get it right um for example if you see in olden days and all we are we just had internet explorer yahoo bing that's all uh, was used but now if you see google has become a much user friendly we don't you we usually we don't prefer the older ones bing and all. we use google and rarely some will use yahoo right uh, in google itself we have mailing for mailing we have gmail and uh, then we are having google drives google maps and for videos we have youtube right so these are all the useful applications now we are watching this video through youtube right so for the students for the researchers for everyone this internet is a main main thing now right and let's see the disadvantages of this internet we'll be simply wasting the time right our time is so precious have you ever thought how long i have been sat in front of the laptop or uh, with the mobile of course we all would have spent a lot of time if we had a wifi or a good network and if you are in a laptop or a, with the mobile you would have spent a lot of time right so uh, when you are uh, getting the internet and you are surfing through the internet or if you are searching something unwanted means it is a waste of time and the whole time will be lost you have a lot and lots of data in this google so 
we won't know how long we are spending here but the whole time will be lost this is the main disadvantage of this internet right and um, many wrong informations are also being posted in some web pages or blogs in whatsapp also if you see so many uh, unwanted messages are uh, being spread someone will be creating some message and they'll be forwarding it for time pass and at last they'll be uh, including just share this if you share this you will get this likewise something they'll be adding and putting and so if someone else see that they'll be just sharing it to their friends then it will go to the next friend so wrong informations are also shared in this internet right different types of theft are also uh, done here in this internet many hackers are there so uh, sometimes if you have linked the banking details along with this uh, online this networks and all uh, someone would have uh, hack your system or someone would have hack your mobiles and may take your passwords and may take your otps and they can even take your amount there so you must be careful in securing your data in your devices also right these are the disadvantages of internet right next we are going to see about internet explosion okay internet is we'll uh, define it simply as world wide web connection of individual networks operated by academic persons industry people government and private parties too right in few years the internet bridge itself it has had a highly powerful platform that means we all do all the things in online right uh, we purchase online we do our banking works online we do business online everything is done through this internet so this internet promotes as a universal source of information of billions of people maybe for uh, work or maybe for school maybe for simply sitting at home for everything this internet plays a vital role right this internet is growing as a remarkable evolution um it has come to mobile technology and social web also two innovations have changed the lifestyle of the people we may find many communities in social websites also facebook was actually created in 2004 right but today it has more than 2230 million active users active users means the person using currently the person uh, if they are using the facebook only we'll say it is active users so now active users itself 2230 million active users are there right um, now if you are uh, you are 11th 12th students means then facebook you will be preferring instagram that instagram also has have a million and billion of users right so this mobile technology has increased the use of internet all over the world okay this internet allows us to be democratic in mass media right anyone can have a web page in internet and they can start a business in a very low budget so they don't need to invest a long a large amount of money they can have a low investment and they can start a business right and they can reach a very large market directly through online right so they can grow economically also fast right um there is no need of any location or we don't need a big building or something right we just we can just sit in our home itself we can connect people through internet we can start a, a job or we can start any one uh, web page and you can just post something there you can ask people to post there you can get connected with the people and we can just start a business right so we no need to invest a large amount of money you can just uh, give your ideas or give your opinions in a blog and you can just uh, circulate it around your network and you can earn there right next one is growth of computer networking the internet is a global network of computers which is linked with a high speed data lines and maybe sometimes in a wireless systems also okay this is estimated that this internet links more than 50 million users right in more than 80 countries all over the world right this may increase to around 300 million in next 5 years too man many difficulties are also faced by the service providers including this google also 
uh, google also when they launched many people at once they are searching and they couldn't give the result so the service provider also faced a lot of difficulties and giving this networks through this wired connection this fiber optic cables and there are also so many competitions are there and this installation cost from uh, other broadband providers and even though this 4g lte mobile networks was not reached to many parts of the country our uh, industry uh, the 5g 4g first and all we had 2g and then 3g came uh, 4g now 5g is also there so the cellular communication technology is also growing and uh, they are all fighting with the competition all the companies and the brands are trying to give a speed ahead of other others right the speed the mobile connections will be preferring that networks right so all the networks are trying to give the better speed than the other networks right when this 4g was initially developed companies did not wait to advertise about this 5g efforts and all that means uh, artificial intel intelligence will help to maintain manage and protect this network problem so they can just uh, speed up in each advancements right now the networks are being monitored by the algorithms which gives a build ups of traffic and the activity right which may result in a nasty activity such as a distributed denial of services attacks attempted hacks and uh, some uh, hacking are also done in between this network issues also right this artificial networking power algorithms will become most intelligent okay this might uh, find faster and reliable methods of uh, finding out the threats and cleaning the networks also this artificial intelligence will be able to predict the traffic and it collects all the details uh, who if someone is uh, trying to hack they can uh, get the details of them also and analyze the data in real time okay next we are going to see about uses of computer networks right computer networks means this plays a major role we have seen uh, in the in beginning itself right this information may be a large or sometimes it may be a small it may be a information of a common man also nowadays most of the companies banks uh, everything is stored storing the information or the transaction details everything is digitalized right so everything is saved in their computers only so it may be in same campus or a same building or a same city or it may be in different cities different campuses also for all these purposes the computer networks are used right the common uses of computer networks are for communication resource sharing data or software sharing money saving right communication means we all know to interact with the different people who are all around the world right so the powerful communication must have the employees or the team who are separated in various places and they will communicate and make it very low at very low cost using this mobile or social media or maybe a email or a chatting or a video telephone video conferencing or maybe a sms likewise so this communication has become at, uh, we can do a communication with a very low cost right next one is resource sharing that means when one device is accessed by many systems it allows all the kinds of programs or the equipment to be accessed by anyone who is connected through the network uh, if you are in other countries also that is not a issue you can just use that right that means a simple resource sharing means uh, one printer will be connected in one computer and if that computer is connected through network if you are in another place also you can just give print and the printer will print the thing in another place uh, and it will give it to the other person right so this printer scanner fax machine modem this and all can connect the people and the resource can be shared with the people in other uh, places with a same network right next one is software or data sharing using this computer network any application or other software can be stored at a central computer that one we'll say it as a server right any uh, data will be saved in the server and if you are connecting 10 computers through network means that 10 computers will be accessed from this server okay the software can be shared among 
other computers of the networks also it provides a high reliability and backup okay this can also be stored at one location for easy availability so that uh, if one is crashed also you can access from other computer right then next one is money saving computer network saves a huge amount of money that means it reduces the manpower we don't need to go and work somewhere or it reduces the paper or we can just type it and send it we don't need a paper right we just need a screen uh, and uh, resource sharing is very easy software sharing is very easy and the time is also saved we, we don't have to just move out and go a long uh, distance and you don't need to get into a building and sit there and switch on the system and work wherever you are sitting if you are in the home also you can just connect your uh, network and you can just do the work right so this is time saving also okay next topic is networks in business we'll see about the networks in business in the next session okay uh, just read the chapter before attending the next session okay thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye